Hello dear viewer, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Antiquist Solutions, your premier hub for all card related tutorials where we learn how to use various architectural software for your consumption and also for the sake of improvement of knowledge in architectural designs. So in this tutorial video today, I want to take you through how you are able to hide architectural elements in designs that you're working on so that you may be able to perceive, you may be able to work on a segment of a design in the manner that you wish to work on it. So before we proceed, I will wish to ask you to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you may not miss any of our coming tutorial videos that we'll be putting up in this platform. So, just to jump right in, I want to give you two particular scenarios and two particular methods that we are able to hide layers. And one that I want to identify first is to know how you can hide the entire element. So, how that is approached is you simply go to our uh, options. Firstly, we'll go to the documents uh, under the a menu tab then we we'll locate the layers then we'll click on it then on the drop down menu you we'll simply go to um, layers extra click on it then you'll be able to see um, the drop down menu giving you a raft of options that you wish to use and that is based on what you want to achieve so in this case you will see that uh, we have show stop hide layers toggle um, hide all, lock all, you can also undo all the layer chains and also give you how you can see the active layers. So if I want to hide the entire um, design, I'll simply click on hide all and that is how our design will be uh, hidden from the workspace that we are, we are upon. Then in case we also want to um, hide certain portions of our design, let me simply just go back to the layer and then show so you can see that I have uh, texts that are particularly um, distinguishing or even showing all the different rooms in my design simply have even the dimensions uh, beams and the slabs and all that so I may mean, wish to hide all the maybe the the dimensions so I may also wish to hide all the texts that are appearing on my design so what I'll simply do in this second method, I'll simply go to options, still on the menu tab, then the drop down menu that will be appearing there will give me um, a raft of uh, options. So in the element attributes, I'll click on it and then I'll simply locate where the, where the, the layers are. So once I locate that, I'll click on it. Then that is now where we'll get uh, the dialog box that has uh, the model views or that are the layers. So this is where now I have uh, to simply look at the individual uh, elements or individual architectural elements that I wish to hide. So in this case, for example, I want to hide my text. So under annotation, I simply um, locate the annotation text then click on it and then on the i uh, option i'll simply check it and you realize that uh, it, is, it is simply um, unchecked and then i'll simply click on ok and you'll be able to see that all the text elements in my design are hidden and then if i also want to look at another element that I want I wish to hide simply go back to element attributes click on layers and then I look at something to do with uh, let me say something like um, um, we hit the text so I may wish to maybe hide the, the wall so once that is done I will now look at how I'm able to get back to my uh, text so what I'll do I'll simply go and check 
on the the i element click on it and then click ok and we'll ensure that my, my my texts are back to the previous settings that i had them upon so that is how we can be able to show the the relevant uh, layers that we want to hide or we want to make visible so that you can be working upon because uh, the reason why this is important is because um, in most cases we wish to work on a particular element but you find that that particular segment is so crowded so when you hide certain layers when you hide certain um, elements in that particular portion of the design you're working on you will soon be able to get the necessary alignment to it so thank you that is my presentation for today see you in the next tutorial